the Super Friends to make an album. And I still hope, I doubt it now, but I, I, I still hope that the Super Friends will just make an album for us, which I want to talk more about in future videos. The Super Friends, if you don't know, is what they call themselves, Timbaland, Missy, Aliyah, Genuine, Playa Magoo. That was like the crew, the Super Friends. That's when the whole music crew thing, there was always crews and stuff, but it was top, it was, it was a totally type of different thing once they introduced themselves as Super Friends. Cause Ali was, um, was our superstar, she blew up, and then she put Tim and Missy on the map with one in a million. Then Missy, um, then Genuine came out and, and blew up with Pony. And then after that, Missy Elliott came out with the rain. Then right after that, up jumps the boogie. And it just made it official like, this is the crew. This is what you want to be like. And then before you knew it, you had um, who that 50 Cent came out and G Unit. And then they had they want, their R&B chick in there, Olivia. You start seeing different groups started trying to mimic that. And had the, like that female chick thing. Who was that? Um, Murder Inc. Murder Inc. Then they got a shot and decided to label her princess. Well, did label her the new princess of hip hop and R&B, which was after Ali died. You know, it was like this void that was trying to be filled. And then, I mean, it was just, yeah, it was crazy. 20 years now, she has a makeup line tribute with um, with uh, Mac. Then one day I was walking in the mall and then I saw this red carpet outside the Mac store as I was, I was walking past to go to the Apple store. And I was like, and I saw the picture, I'm like, is that Aliyah? That's one of my favorite pictures of Aliyah, which is actually this picture, hold on. It was this picture right here. Yeah, it was that picture. Like this big old poster, red carpet. I walked in and they was playing Aliyah music. Somebody was bumping Man Undercover. Listen, you bumping Man Undercover and you an Aliyah fan. And I was like, man, I contribute to this. I signed a petition and they did it. We did it, y'all, we did it. I was happy, man, and that's dope. There's a line out, and it's dope. I was looking in there to find some stuff that I could wear for guys because I wore a lot of dope stuff. Like, she has to wear like men's clothes, and then wore like, you know, her tops and everything to feminize it. And I was like, man, because it was funny because I was actually thinking it would be dope to have some like some dope, like how like fire camel baggy pants. Now that don't look that the ones on that they're selling is not as baggy, and um, yeah, those prices just want. Mm, sorry, much love. Can't afford them prices like that, y'all. I got my own gold on. <laughs> I'm investing in in and taking care of my sanctuary, wear, my self care matters attire. One day maybe I, I can grab an Aaliyah, one of the Malia sh shirts. But yeah. We, we, I mean, only like the most affordable thing on there is a belly chain. I'm gonna do with that. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I want to support and be part of it somehow, but can't, can't, can't do that. Can't wear that. That's not, that's not me. It's not me. Um, she got a wax figure. She has do do do. I'm waiting. What I'm really waiting for is finally her star, in the Hall of Fame, and also for MTV, you know, to give her the Vanguard Award, which I truly believe MTV probably has intentions in doing that because Ali and MTV had a really good relationship. And I think part of the reason there was waiting is for, cause her, for her music to be available. Well, there's a lot of other things I guess I could say, but this is mostly what I had on my mind about the what if. I mean, she would have been so huge. I mean, I just think about all the award shows that that could have been the more the iconic performances and concerts and films, so many films. Oh yeah, let's, oh yeah, hold on. So I had this idea. I had this idea. I think it would have been funny if Aliyah and Brandy did a remake of the movie Death Becomes Her which is a kind of a, not really that spooky, it has spooky elements, but it's a comedy. And if, um, with Meryl Streep, and I've got other actress name, but that would've been funny. That would've been hilarious. Cause Ali is funny and I, I would, would've loved to see more movies her, first showing her funny side, cause she's, cause goofy. And I just enjoy watching her being goofy. 
if, you, if Houston Death become her Romero Star Star and Mel Street, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Brandy and Ali would have been hilarious. Who do you think should be which in that role? And who should play play the guy that's like that's keeping them together? So short long story short, Death Death becomes her. It's about this this man who uh, was married, um, has a beautiful wife who happens to be overweight. And and who is a fan of this this star, this actress, as well as the wife is a fan too. But he works with her, but comes to find out that he was having an affair with her, and he ended up leaving his wife for her. They move on. Well, years later, she, the wife, gets her body right, get all sex and everything, and come lo and behold, she finds this potion. Like this, this, like this potion of youth, like fountain of youth type thing. Makes you all, you know, all nice and sexy and perfect. No wrinkles, all that. de ages you and you live forever. And the other one ended up finding about it when <laughs> she confronts her and they got this big old fight <laughs> and planning to kill. Oh my gosh, to kill her. And it goes wrong and not knowing before they killed her that she ended up finding about the potion and took it herself. <laughs> and people was like, wow, like, what did you do? Why well, you look so amazing now all these years? And so when you kill her, they come right back, holding the body and all. And the thing is, if you actually died and you had that potion, um, eventually your skin will deteriorate. And so you, the, the ex-husband, he starts painting the bodies together, trying to keep it together, stuff is falling off, and the booze together. It's hilarious, it's hilarious. My mama got me on that when I was a kid, and um, we used to watch that all the time. What are your thoughts on that? And if all of you are still here, comment, like, subscribe. All right, until next time, peace.